Hello, hello there, YouTuber friends and subscribers. Happy Sunday. Uh, I just had this idea come over me. I was thinking about my system. Uh, since I've up upgraded it to uh, 48 volts. And I gotta say, I think having a system now going from 24 volts up to the 48 volt system, I didn't exactly know what to expect. But I feel my batteries charge even more efficiently. I believe they charge up faster now at 48 volts than they did at 24. Same amount of wattage of solar PV coming in. And I noticed years ago when I went from a 12 volt system to a 24 volt system, the batteries charge much, much more efficiently. And I believe this has happened again when I switched to the 48 volt system number of reasons for that I had enough batteries to do it a 48 volt system is very conducive to switching over to some EV battery batteries which I hope to do in the future prices on those are coming down dramatically you can get lithium batteries there's all these BMS systems for it now and I think that's the most inexpensive way to get into lithium which I will play with probably in the next year or so I'm hoping Anyway, what I did notice the other day, and I don't remember ever seeing this anywhere on YouTube with a setup like I've got here, is, uh, and I caught this just the other day because I happened to think of it when my well pump kicked on. My well pump is a one horsepower. It has running amps of 10 at 240 volts, so it surges obviously much higher. And what I'm attempt, going to attempt to do here in a minute for you is I'm going to move this camera in much closer, let you uh, see the MagnaSign readout on the panel. And what happens, I have the uh, slave inverter set to automatically come on at 60% load, which when the well pump surges, it does. And I've witnessed it three times now. When the well pump kicks on, slave inverter will wake up, share the load with the master inverter, and when the well pump kicks off, the slave inverter goes back to sleep, and the master inverter continues on with its uh, main job, which is obviously running the house. So I'm going to attempt to capture that for you. And I've now had the dual system up roughly a month, maybe a day or so short of a month. What this has done for me compared to what I had before with my hodgepodge system of equipment that I gathered up over the last nine years of playing with solar is it's pretty much made you think you're kind of living on the grid because you really don't have to do anything. And I really don't think, I really think the only thing that would make that bat better would be uh, to go with the lithium battery bank from what I've been hearing and seeing. But so far, I'm just ecstatic. No more watching the water pressure on my well tank and coming out and throwing on the transfer switch so I can get 240 volts and turn the pump on and turn that off. And this is just fantastic. I mean, it's like living in a house hooked up to the grid. And uh, I buy and sell things, and quite a few people come around here from time to time when I let them in. And nobody has even got a clue that this place is off grid. They don't even believe it until you tell them. And they're like, "You mean you're not hooked to the? You're not hooked to the power grid?" I'm like, "No, I'm not hooked to the power grid." Well, how can you weld? How can you have all these lights? How do you run air compressors? And I'm like, "Well, right there, you're looking at it." So anyway, enough babbling. I'm gonna re-aim uh, the camera, and I'm gonna go drain some water out of the tank here, and see if I can't capture this so you can actually see the other inverter kick in all by itself and then go back to sleep. I'm just tickled to death with this. It really works good. So let me get started and uh, I'll be right back. Let me go set this camera up a little closer. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, right now we're showing minus nine amps. I flushed this toilet. There it goes. There it goes. There's the master going. There's the inverter sleeve going. That one's throwing 29 amps. And 
31 on the master. So 31 on the master, 29 on the slave inverter. I'm going to go shut this water off. And that's how that works. And when that water pump kicks off, you'll see the slave shut off. And I've just never seen anybody do this. Fans humming along. There it goes. There goes the fan on the uh, slave inverter. That click was it shutting off. And now we're running strictly on the master inverter. So there it is. I finally captured it on film. And uh, turn this back down. And the other thing I've noticed is uh, the BMK takes a while to catch up with the uh, the midnight. The midnight showing a hundred percent state of charge, and the uh, the MK on the Magnum. It's showing 96, but within a couple of minutes it'll go to 100. So anyway, a little bit long video, but I wanted to share that. This system is working just fantastic. It's probably the best money I've ever spent. And uh, as you can see, everything has been cleaned up. And it's just working perfectly. So there's a demonstration of the, how the master and slave play so nicely together. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're having a nice Sunday, and I'll talk to you later.